Hey guys, it's me, Cubix. So, last night I did an unboxing of the Volk Power M. The box is right here. The video was like 30 minutes long, and as I was recording it, I was already thinking that I didn't really like the vibe of the video. Um, I was being a little bit harsh on certain things that I don't think deserve to be super harsh. Um, and when I was editing the video today, um, it definitely sounded like I was just very frustrated with the cube and everything that was surrounding it, um, even though that's not the case. Uh, in fact, I actually quite like the cube. So I basically don't feel good about releasing that video. Um, and so I was thinking about, oh, what can I do? And so I actually recorded this video already before, which was another 30 minute video, um, which I just wanted to talk about the unboxing experience and how I felt about the cube in terms of first impressions and stuff like that. But now I've actually done about like 200 solves on this cube and my impressions have changed slightly. So what do I do? In the beginning of 2017, I started this new review style where I had two camera angles um, and I would sort of go back and forth and it was sort of like a live unboxing and first impressions thing, which I actually really like doing and I think most of you also enjoy it. But now that it's the end of 2017 and I have a cube here that I already unboxed and have more solid impressions of, I guess we can turn back the clock and do an old style Cubix review. So let's do that. Hey guys, it's me Cubix, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Volk Power M from Chi Yi. Before we even get to the cube, it's worth mentioning that this is the best unboxing experience I have ever come across for a cube. The cardboard box and foam layouts really give this cube a premium feel from the get-go, and the included accessories aren't too bad either. The cube comes with extra stickers and application tape, extra springs, which have this conical shape, some branding stickers, a ton of paperwork, and a cleaning cloth which I'll probably never use. I will say that I do like that the springs come in a bag, rather than a triangular plastic box. Just saying. The cube itself is really beautiful. From the outside you can already see that the plastic is two-toned. I have the black version here which has white internals but black caps. The corner pieces remind me of how GAN cubes are constructed, but the pieces themselves seem to have the same designs as the original Valk 3. That being said, the plastic actually makes a big difference in terms of how the cube feels. The original Volk had a very polished and hard feel to it. The power has a much softer feel and the turning has the sandy sound that I really like. It's similar to a Yue Xiao or even a Feng Shi. Corner cutting is the same as pretty much all cubes these days at over 45 degrees and reverse corner cutting is decent as well. However, therein lies the main problem I have with this puzzle. The Volk Power M has some slight catching issues when pieces misalign. Admittedly, I currently have pretty inaccurate turning, but these catches do happen almost every solve for me, and my times in this cube are consistently worse than on the Ganair SM or the GTS 2M. But of course, this is the Volk Power M, and M stands for magnetic, right? The truth is, I can't really feel the magnets when I'm turning. Usually, that's a good thing since I hate strong magnets, but in the case of the Power M, the magnets don't really seem to do that much at all. With most magnetic cubes, the magnets help align the layers if you get reasonably close, however the Volk Power M does not. And because the catching occurs the most during tiny reverse corner cuts, this is actually a big problem. Keep in mind, this was the same issue the regular Volk had as well. The cube just has a blocky design, and the turning reflects that. However, it's important to note that the magnets don't resolve those issues in this case. Rather, the magnets provide a subtle, tactile feel that is barely noticeable at full speed. Overall, I wouldn't say the Volk Power M is a clear upgrade over the Volk 3. It certainly has a better feel in my opinion, but performance-wise there isn't much difference. The cube is still blocky, and the magnets actually do very little to change that. The Volk Power M is a little under $40 on Speed Cube Shop, which is definitely a premium price. The cube feels that expensive, but I'm not sure if the performance is worth it. You could probably get the same thing by adding magnets to a regular Volk yourself, or buying the Supernova Volk M from Speed Cube Shop for considerably less. But if you're addicted to sandy sounding plastic like I am, then it's hard to overlook the Volk Power M. As always, if you have questions about this cube, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, toodles.